So I've been here, this is my 26th year um, teaching Bible, mainly. Um, the reason I came here is because uh, when I graduated from high school, I really hadn't prepared to come here, and, and yet I came here as a student, and uh, my life was totally changed by the people here. And so, in, uh, in thinking about what, what I should be doing um, with my life, I think the school so impacted me that it made me uh, aware that the Lord had a plan for me here. Teaching here is rewarding, I think, because of what's going on in the culture as a whole. Uh, as God is marginalized and pushed to the fringes of culture, this is a chance to engage young people in this setting with God at the center, putting God in, at the axis and at the heart of everything in their lives. And I think that's unique in our culture today. There aren't many places where that happens, where uh, the focus is on God and His relationship to us. Well, I think of one young man who, uh, who came later in life. He, was, he had a lot of problems, had been divorced. Uh, his life was up in the air, his career was gone, and he came here basically just to, uh, to find himself, I think, more than anything else. He stayed and uh, was conflicted about a lot of different things in his life, and endured, persevered, and he wrote me this letter just a couple of years ago. He said, the college has touched my heart with a depth that has been incomprehensible. I know in my heart that the times we have spent together are in accordance with God's divine plan. I don't know what tomorrow brings, nor do I fully understand what's gone on in the past. When I look at the impact that the college has made on my life, my soul cries out with the hope that the Lord would find the opportunity to allow me to touch the life of even one person that could measure up to the magnitude in which the college has helped me. More than anything tangible in the world in which I live, past, present, and future, I know in my soul that the college has been my path to God, which I have sought all of my life. And I got this letter about two months before he died suddenly, and I realized that um, we had been preparing him for more than just what he was going to do in this life. We had been shaping him for, uh, for what he would do after this life was over. And I don't think I ever, a day goes by that I don't, I don't think about that, realize that these students are being shaped for something far beyond this life. And that puts a, a different dimension on what I do.